the current aim of my research is to um, pursue the chemical strategy to see, first of all, if we find a compound or a combination of compounds that um, effectively activate HIV from latency. And uh, tell us a couple of the different experiments you've done. Yes, so um, <clears throat> in the past, or well, uh, about a year and a half ago, we did an experiment with the h dang hepsa uh, panobinum stand in 15 HIV patients on uh, antiretroviral treatment. Um, this uh, year, we followed up with a new study with a different h dang hepsa called Bogodepsin to see if this uh, agent could also activate HIV from latency and uh, most importantly, if we could measure the uh, induction of, of virions in the plasma of these patients. So can you explain in very simple terms, what what are you hoping to achieve with HDAC inhibitors? Yeah. So <clears throat> what we hope to achieve is to have these cells that lie dormant but has HIV DNA as part of, of, of their own uh, DNA material to have these uh, cells a unmask to the immune system so they can be cleared because these cells that uh, you can call them silent or, or resting uh, non-active cells these cells are the reason why HIV persists because they don't express or they don't show any parts of HIV on the surface so they're not recognized as being infected by the immune system um, and what we hope to do with this strategy is to unmask the the cells to expose them to the immune system and in turn we hope that the immune system will be able to kill these cells and to clear them from the body ultimately if <clears throat> this strategy is successful it, it can be hoped that uh, a large part of the uh, reservoir or perhaps all but the reservoir is cleared from the body and a, 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 a person could be uh, cured from HIV. And what role has AMFAR played in your research? So AMFAR uh, has played actually quite an important role uh, because <clears throat> we've been used uh, to really uh, just getting our funding from Danish uh, foundations and um, what with this research we hope to aim uh, for a broader audience uh, and AMFAR has really kind of given us a um, both um, funding but also a, a huge recognition for the work we do because they, <clears throat> at least in, in our opinion, getting MFA funding is also a sign of the, the research you do have, have a high quality. And so to us it's really been a major boost to, to get recognition from a US independent foundation rather than from the people we know in Denmark who will sit on the different boards of, of, the, fund, of the funds. Okay, great. So how optimistic are you that there's going to be a cure for HIV in the next five or ten years? <laughs> so that, that's, uh, that's a tricky question. So I'm optimistic that there will be a cure, but I'm not sure if it will be there in the next five to ten years. That's a short version. I think <clears throat> what we're real, realizing now or, or have been realizing over the past years is that it's very difficult to cure HIV. So even in, in patients with no measurable uh, virus in the plasma or within their cells, we'll, we still see a virus coming out of, of, of these very tiny small reservoirs. So I guess in theory you would say one infected cell is uh, one latently unmasked cell is enough to, to restart the infection. So it's, it's very difficult to cure HIV but I'm optimistic that it will happen sometime.